Dark Island. The second episode in Robert Barr's story of espionage in the remote islands of the Outer Hebrides. On instructions from London, an intelligence officer, Jim Nicholson, and the crofter, Ian MacLeod, have visited the deserted island of Doracha, the Dark Island, to see if a search is being made for a strange torpedo and its contents of revolvers, passport, and foreign money. They've seen a girl searching the beach, and they've been shot at. You will stay where you are, both of you. Do you know who he is, Ian? Aye. It's Alec Thompson. I see. And here comes that colonel. What in damnation are they doing here? Visiting. Do you always shoot at visitors? What happened, Thompson? It uh, was a mistake, Colonel. I uh, saw something move in the heather. I thought it might be a rabbit. Huh. There will be no shooting. No, Colonel. Well, that's a relief. Can we uh, get up now? Uh, yes. Oh, thank you. If there'd been an accident, sir, it would have been your own fault. No visitors are allowed in this island. Well, at least you might have the grace to apologize for the shooting. All right. If that's what you want, Mr... Uh... Nicholson. And this is... A... I know, Mr. McLeod. Where is your boat? On the other side. I'd be obliged if you'd return to it. In future, you will ask permission to come here. Oh, I saw your niece down on the beach. I think she was looking for something. I was just going down to help her. Thompson, take them to their boat. And see them off. Yes, Colonel. Come on. Uh, Thompson. Yes, Colonel. Unload that gun. Yes, Colonel. Uh, come on. Thompson. Unload that gun. In my own time. Where's your boat? Down in the cove. I'm surprised at you coming here, Ian. I was showing my friend the islands. I saw no harm in it. You were very quick with that gun, Alec. Oh, a mistake. Just a mistake. They happen. Hello there. Oh, good morning. Oh, what happened up there? I heard a shot. Mr. Thompson mistook me for a rabbit. Oh. Are you all right? <laughs> Fortunately, it's a very poor shot. We are now being marched to our boat. Alec. Your uncle's orders, miss. I'm sorry about this. My name is Nicholson. Jim Nicholson. Oh, Mary Summers. How do you do? Alec, you lead the way. Yes, miss. Uh, come on, Ian. Don't waste time, miss. He wants them off. Oh, don't pay any attention to him. I'll stick with you. I saw you down on the beach. I was on my way to help you. That was kind of you. Tell me, uh, what were you looking for? My dog. Oh, I see. He ran off among the dunes. <laughs> Alec! Alec, keep a lookout for Scamp, will you? And don't go firing that gun at him. No, miss. Was my uncle rude to you? Well, he, he was rather sharp, yes. He likes being alone. Uh, do you live here? <laughs> no one lives here. We're over at the hotel on the Big Island. Mm -hmm. We live in London in the winter and come here for the summer. My uncle likes it. Do you? I think it's boring. Are you staying long? Uh, yes. Well, then you must have dinner with us at the hotel. Oh, thank you. Get to know Uncle. He's really rather a sweetie. Well, he sounded full of fire and brimstone. Uh, tell me, uh, do you know why? He just doesn't like visitors on his island. Oh. Tell me, is there anything else you want to know? I, uh, think I'm overstaying your welcome. Still, we're almost there. Now you take him out of here. Aye. Goodbye, Mr. Nicholson. Bye, Miss Summers. Oh, I may see you at the hotel tonight. So you may. So, 
That was Alec Thompson. Aye. They were looking for something. Yes, they were. But they won't find it. No. Well, I've got a date with the lovely Miss Summers. So I expect I'll be seeing you later tonight. Where do we go now? To the rocket range. i better make a report. Oh, morning, Jim. Good morning, sir. I didn't know you were back. Oh, I flew in half an hour ago. Oh. This is Captain Grant, the Brigadier's PA. Jim Nicholson. Hello there, Nicholson. Hello. He's come up from London to look around and make a personal report. Have you been to the island yet? Well, I've been to it. I've been shot at and thrown off it. Shot at, eh? Well, in a kind of way, yes. You've come just in time for some fun, Grant. Yeah, so it seems. Hmm. Well, I was explaining to Grant about these foreign trawlers. Now, we, we have fairly full reports on their movements, but they operate over a very wide area. All around here, mm -hmm. right? Now, they come in shore from time to time. Light signals have been seen to seaward. But they aren't at regular intervals. Well, not regular by any measurement we know of, but it seems to be always for three successive nights, except on this last occasion, when we picked up signals on only two nights. Yes. If we're right, it'd seem to take three nights to complete an operation. One night signaling to arrange it, next night to deliver, third night to get the OK and sail away. On this last one, there'd be no OK, because we found the container. They're spy ships. No. The Brigadier thinks they're working with a spy ship. Oh. He thinks there's a reception group operating on the islands. He thinks so, sir. If you come over to the large-scale chart, I'll show you what happened this morning. This is the island, mm -hmm. Dorica. And this is, the, this is the cove where our boat was moored, and this is the beach. And we crossed by this route. Mm -hmm. There's an old house here. Hasn't been lived in for years. It's in a pretty poor state. Where did you meet with the trouble? Um, just here, uh -huh. looking down on the beach. This is the beach where the container should have landed. Yeah. It's a much better beach, about three miles long. There was a girl searching it. And there was a man protecting her. As soon as I spotted her, he spotted me and took a pot shot. And then this colonel appeared. Angry as hell, he was. Oh, you let them scare you off. Well, if they were looking for the container, they wouldn't find it. I stayed long enough to see what I wanted to see. This Colonel? British? Oh, yes, quite definitely. The Colonel Jemison. Oh, I don't know what regiment, but it shouldn't be too difficult to trace him. Late 50s, early 60s. Retired. And the man who shot at you? Alec Thompson. McLeod says he's an ex trawlerman and he's been in the Russian Navy. Swanson, he's the chap who runs one of the fishing syndicates, brought him here as a general handyman to take syndicate members fishing. You know, take them to the islands. An ex-trawlerman, eh? And these foreign spy boats are trawlers. Yeah. The girl? Says she's the colonel's niece. About 23 or 24. Mary Summers. I think she's a Londoner. Uh, know anything else about her? Not yet. Oh, with this last container, there can be no OK. So they'll be back again. It's going to cause someone a lot of trouble. Does this thing lead to London, Grant? Well, if you consider what it contained, British money, Swedish money, revolvers and ammunition, spares for a transmitter, materials for microphotography, a blank passport, it leads somewhere. To London? The Brigadier thinks that part of it is London-based, but he wants the origins traced here. What else does he think? He doesn't tell me, he just sits in London and calls the tune. Hmm. Have, uh, have you seen these photographs? Can you recognize anyone? They're street snaps. People walking past. That's right. Street snaps. Well, who am I supposed to recognize? Now you just look at them. Huh? See if uh, any of their faces are familiar. Hello, well, uh, this one was taken in Whitehall, wasn't it? Hmm? Yes, that's right. Hmm. Ah, this man at the back, almost behind the woman. He looks a bit like Swanson. The man who runs the fishing syndicate. Yes, that's the show. He owns rights in some of the locks and brings people up from the south for a fishing holiday. And brought Alec Thompson here. That's him. Still, you couldn't tell from this. There's only half a face behind a woman. It's a lousy photograph. Yeah, well, street snaps usually, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, you'll see him tonight. 
I'm going to the hotel for a drink. I'll take you. What story have you given them? That I'm a visitor. Just looking around. We'd like you to be a visitor too, Grant. You should book in at the hotel. All right, sir. I'll take you there tonight. I'll take the boat round as soon as it gets dark. How far is it? No, not so far. In fact, it's in that direction. But uh, we have to swing round this way. Why? Scaries. Little islands. All sorts of hazards. If it was daylight, you'd see them. This is the safe route. Is it always so dark at night? It's always as black as your hat. How do you find your way around? <laughs> First lesson in local navigation. Yeah. As you come into the sound, you pick up the light of the McNeil craft. That was the light on the left back there. Oh, yes. You pass that on the port side and give it about, oh, ten minutes until you pick up the light of the McDonald craft. <laughs> and now you know that is on the headland and you swing west to pass it. That's it, straight ahead. The light in the kitchen window. Yes, well, supposing they weren't at home. Well, <laughs> that'd be too bad, wouldn't it? Straight ahead is America and these trawlers. <laughs> you must teach me the local rules. Oh, it takes a year. How long are you here? Hmm? Well, in this godforsaken place, any time is too long. You, uh, came up to look at me. Well, if you want a straight answer, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you mind telling me why? Well, since we're equal rank, I'll tell you. The fact is that the Major doesn't seem too bright. You mean for this job? Yes. And me? I think the Brigadier will be satisfied. Oh, well, that's good to hear. <laughs> What's he like? The Brig? Yeah. Oh, he's all right. He knows what it's all about. Well, then why doesn't he tell us? Well, because he has the big picture. Oh. In intelligence, you don't tell the underlings. <laughs> we are here to observe yes. and record. Now, tell me more about your local aids to navigation. <laughs> well, we've uh, passed the kindly light of the McDonald's. Who happened to be at home? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and we now swing northwest and keep going until we sight the lights of the hotel. I can see them now. Where? Out there. No, 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 no. No, the hotel's up that way. There was a light out there. Hold the tiller. What are you doing? We stay here and watch. There is a light. It's due west. It's one of those damn trawlers. She's signaling. How far is she? Oh, about three miles, maybe four. Signaling in groups of four. Have you got a pencil? I'll write them down. Yes. Four whites, two reds. Mm -hmm. White, a red. Mm. Here it comes again. Four reds. Where are we? Look, can we get a fix on her? Well, I know where she is. But there's a chart under that cushion. Now, look. We're here. Mm. Take this compass and get a fix. Uh, hold it. Someone's replying. Where? To the south. Oh, well, that's the fix we want. Can you get it? Yes. Ah, the replies in groups of four. I've got the bearing. Are you sure you know where we are? Yes, to a pinpoint. Well, that's it. Over. Short and sweet. What do we do now? If somebody's out on the island signaling, we get to the hotel and see who's missing. How far? We're almost there. drive like that in the dark? Not always, no. The hotel is just round that headland. What headland? Well, you see it from the road. Look, you go first and book in. We'll meet in the bar as strangers and work it out from there. As strangers? Will that work? Oh, yes, yes. They're very friendly. Book in and the manager will introduce you to someone in the bar. You go on. I'll put the boat up. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Good evening, sir. 
I'm the manager, Macaulay. I was wondering if you had a room for tonight. Are you one of Mr. Swanson's syndicate, sir? Uh, no, no, I'm just on holiday. Uh, my name is Grant. For the fishing, sir? No, no, just for a holiday. Aye. Well, you might be in luck, sir. If you'll uh, just wait here, sir. Good evening, Mr. Nicholson. Good evening, Mr. McCauley. Has uh, Ian McLeod come in here? Aye, he's in the bar. Oh, good. I'll just pop through. Ah, there you are, Ian. Oh, hey. Um, Alec Thompson has been asking about you. He's coming over now. Oh. Good evening, Mr. Nicholson. Good evening. I'd like to buy you a drink. For what happened this morning? Well, it was an accident, wasn't it? <laughs> not in the way you think. Oh, I'm not as bad a shot as that, am I, Ian? No, he could hit a rabbit at 40 yards. <laughs> With a bullet. <laughs> Straight between the eyes. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, will you have a drink with me? I'd be honoured. Ian, I'll have the... Uh, have a mort. Uh-huh. Uh, where's Macaulay? Oh, he's uh, attending to a visitor. He won't be long. We have a room, Mr. Grant. There was a booking for it tonight. Hasn't arrived. You're not with Mr. Swanson? Uh, no, no. Seems no point in it lying empty at this time of night. Uh, here it is. Uh, Dr. Lawrence from London. You wouldn't know him, sir? No. You're from London? Yes, yes, that's right. Well... If you need a room. Uh, how long will you be staying, sir? For as long as you can take me. Uh, that's fair. Just you sign here, sir. Room number six. Will you be going straight to your room, sir? I'd like a drink first. I'll take you to the bar and introduce you. You'll find them a nice lot of people, but uh, it's all talk about fishing. <laughs> Come on, Mac. We're waiting. All right, Alec. What is it? Uh, what is it, Mr. Nicholson? Oh, scotch, please. Three scotch. And uh, one for the colonel and one for Mr. Swanson. That's five. I'm <laughs> making apologies all round tonight. <laughs> it was costly, Mr. Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, may I introduce a visitor, gentlemen, just arrived? Mr. Grant from London. This is Mr. McLeod. How do you do? Mr. Do you do? Mr. Nicholson. Ah, Mr. How do you do, Mr. Grant? Mr. Thompson. Now you'll have someone to talk to, Mr. Grant. Oh, thank you. Uh, add one for Mr. Grant. Oh, that's very kind of you. Not at all, not at all. I'll, uh, I'll just take these over to the Colonel and Mr. Swanson. Uh, help yourselves. You too, Mr. Grant. I'll be back. Oh, it wasn't as difficult as you thought, was it, Grant? No. <laughs> so, you are Ian McLeod? Uh, yes, yes. We know each other already, and but we've arranged to be introduced. <laughs> I gathered that. You've met Alec Thompson, and the two he's gone over to are the Colonel and Swanson. Of the fishing syndicate? Aye. Anyone missing? So far as I can see, only the girl. There was some signalling tonight, Ian. Where? Well, I'll show it to you on the chart later. Hello. The Colonel seems to be having a go at Thompson. <laughs> Alec won't take kindly to that. Maybe so, but he's taking it now. Ah, but uh, he's coming back. Sorry about that. Uh, will you be here for a while, Mr. Nicholson? Yes, I think so. I've got to go out. Uh, something I left unfinished, but uh, I'd like to see you when I get back. All right. You'll wait? Yes. I'll keep your drink for you, Alec. <laughs> All right, thanks. You two stay here and have a chat. I want to see who he's meeting. I won't be long. Hey, your health, Mr. Grant. Mm, and yours. So, you're... You're a friend of Mr. Nicholson's. Uh, we were introduced here tonight. But you're interested in what happened this morning. And in what you found yesterday. If you're a friend, you should go after him. Stick close to him. Wait for us here. Oh, there you are, Mr. Grant. You'll want to see your room now. Uh, not yet, Miss McCauley. I, I thought I'd have a breath of air first. Aye. It's a fine night. Where are you? Here. He's as black as your hat. Like I said, it always is. 
but you'll get used to it. Can you see the edge of the shed over there? No. Oh, you will in a minute. Can you see the car parked down by the shore? Mm -hmm. The side lights are off. Oh, yes, yes, I see it. It pulled up just as I got out. Switched off its lights. Someone is watching or having a talk. Oh, God, it's chilly out here. Mm. Seen Thompson? Ah, not a sign. Ah, there you are, Miss Summers. Your uncle was asking for you. Will I tell him you're here? Is he in the bar? Aye. Oh, no, please don't trouble. Oh, good evening, Mr. Nicholson. Hello, I've been looking for you. Have you uh, been out walking? No, no, I was out visiting a friend. Katie Kennedy, the school teacher. Oh, Do yeah? you know her? No, I, um, no, I don't. I thought you'd been walking. Your shoes are wet. Oh, I came back by the shore. Oh, it see. was a mistake. It was wetter than I thought. Uh, you're back. Uh, yes, Uncle. Good evening, sir. Oh, it's Nicholson, isn't it? Yes. I understand my niece has made amends for my rudeness and that you'll have dinner with us sometime. Oh, thank you very much. Now, if you'll excuse me. Of course. Well, Mary, I was uh, just on my way to the bar. Will you join me? No, thank you. But don't let me stop you. I'm coming, Uncle. Still here, Ian? Huh? Oh, hi. Oh, did you see Alec Thompson? No. The Colonel has just a row with Mr. Swanson and mm. stormed out. I saw him in the lobby. More important, Ian, the girl has been out on the shore tonight and came back with something urgent to tell the Colonel. You said Alec Thompson was a trollerman. Aye, and I think he wants to tell you something. Oh? Listen, we saw signals from one of the foreign trawlers tonight, and a reply from one of the islands. You know the islands. I need your help. I'll be more than pleased. I got a fix and marked it on a chart. It's down in the boat. If you'll wait, I'll get it. Ian will help us fix the island they're using. Come on. Here we are. Where did you put the chart? Where I found it, under the cushion. Mm -hmm. I hold it steady, if you'll get in. Hold a minute. What? It's our Pauline. It was up in the bow. Yeah. It's been moved. 
There's, there's something under it. We'll see what it is. It's, it's a man. He's dead. Who is this? Alec Thompson. He's been killed and put in your boat. Someone's coming. Mm -hmm. was the second episode of The Dark Island by Robert Barr, with Edward D'Souza as Jim Nicholson, Jeffrey Frederick as Bill Grant, and Bryden Murdoch, Ian McLeod. Listen to the next episode of The Dark Island, produced for the BBC by Peter Titheridge.